Excited primary school children line the streets as His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, arrived at Fallingbostel Station to a warm welcome. Meanwhile, over 400 soldiers marched onto the battalion parade square. Prince Philip, who turned 93 earlier this week, was the guest of honour handing out the campaign medals. It was hugely important and it was um, you know, a great privilege that he could sort of find time in his diary to come to us, especially this week you know, when he's had his birthday and the D-Day celebrations. You know, it was great to have him on parade. Uh, I'm always amazed at you know, his, um, his sort of liveliness. His, uh, you know, he talked to every soldier, he talked to every wife in the science mess you know, and he made everyone feel very special. Herrick 19 was a long tour for four Scots, up to nine months for some, and in spite of today's celebrations, thoughts were with over 100 members of D Company who've not yet returned from theatre. For everybody on the parade, until those, those boys and girls are off the ground, then um, the job's not complete, absolutely. Um, expect to see them off very soon, uh, and then starting to make their way home. And once everyone is back, then uh, we really look forward to that moment. Four Scots were involved in a number of different roles on operations, predominantly the Manoeuvre Battle Group, as well as the Regional Corps Battle School and a number of force protection tasks. It was great to see you know, them enjoying just being on operations, you know, being part of a big multinational Americans, Afghans, ourselves team you know, in Afghanistan, helping to the final days. For those soldiers who were able to join in in the day's royal event, it was a spectacular occasion. The battalion colours were on parade, the same colours that were presented to the battalion in Kinloss by the Duke of Edinburgh after their return from Herrick 14. Proudly watching on were hundreds of friends, colleagues and family members. It's a very proud moment and it's very proud to have chest, this medal on my chest as I've worked hard for it. Um, also my wife, she's obviously worked hard looking after my three girls, which are very hard work. But for the Duke of Edinburgh to come and give me a medal, which is a very well respected moment in my life. Following the parade, His Royal Highness took time to chat to soldiers in the warrant officers and sergeants' mess, concluding an unforgettable day for everyone involved. It's been a memorable day for the Highlanders and their families here in Fallingbostel. And for those members of D Company who are yet to return to Germany, there'll be more celebrations to come with some post-tour leave and homecoming parades in cities in the Scottish Highlands later this month. Emily Slater, Forces News in Germany.